Hi, and a warm welcome to Contemporary Pilates and Sling's myofascial training. My name is Karin. I've prepared a short and fine movement sequence for you, comprising exercises that mobilize the body, focus on strengthening and releasing muscles, as well as improving the fascia's natural elasticity and glide. Now, doing the sequence once, of course, is better than not doing it at all, however, Optimal would be twice a week for at least a month to give your body enough time to absorb the benefits of the movements and the movement sequencing. So what you need is a mat and something to sit on or to kneel on, a cushion or a towel, whatever you have handy. So we'll be starting the movement sequence in a tailor sit. I will be mirroring you, so left leg in front, pelvis centered, spine elongated. Take your arms out to the side, pelvic floor deep abdominals very mildly engaged. The deep spinal muscles are elongating the body. From here, exhale to prepare. Inhale into a side bend to the right, let the breath flow. Lift your left ear up towards the ceiling. Ground your left sit bone as much length as possible in the left side of the body. Deep breath into the left side of the rib cage, and with your exhalation, let the left side of the rib cage melt across to the right side. Left shoulder relaxed, right shoulder, of course, too. If you like, with your right hand, you can slightly press away from the body and the left side is opening even more. Lower your left arm and then let your spine follow your arm. Inhalation, side bend to the left, hold the position, let the breath flow. Again, lift from your right ear up towards the ceiling, ground the right sit bone, Open up the side of the rib cage. inhale deep, melt with your exhalation. The neck is long and the same option here with your left hand, you can slightly press away from the body and open the right side even more. Lower your right arm, let it take the spine to a centered position. Inhale, side bend to the right, I'm adding a spiral. Exhalation, spiraling down, reaching with the left hand towards the right. Inhalation, side bend again. Lift from your lower ribs. Lower your left arm, center the spine. Inhalation to the left, side bend first. Exhalation, spiraling. The rib cage is spiraling, the thoracic spine, and the arm movement is very, very generous. Overhead, and then lower your right arm, let it take the spine to a centered position. Once again, inhale into the side bend, oblique abdominals, deep back muscles and the muscles between the ribs are getting lengthened and strengthened, as well as we are improving glide between these muscles. Inhalation last time to the left, spiraling down, multidimensional mobilization of the spine and the rib cage lift and then lower your arm. Let the spine follow and transition from here into a kneeling position. Move your hands away from the knees into a basic front support. In basic front support, the shoulders are directly above the hands, the spine is centered, the pelvis is balanced. Shift back. You can shift back as far as you can center the pelvis and keep the spine elongated. So your back extensors have now taken over. They're stabilizing the upper body. With your exhalation, shift forwards. Shoulders over hands. Inhalation, shift back. Maintain a centered alignment. Exhalation, shift forward. It's a preparation exercise. Inhalation for small wave. So small wave. Exhalation, curl your tailbone under, draw up from your abdominals, roll forwards into basic front support. Shift back, long spine. Exhalation, rolling forwards with the small wave, abdominals engage. And as you shift back, the spine extensors are taking over, rolling forwards. So it's an interplay 
between abdominal muscles and spine extensors one last time. And of course, the exercise is mobilizing the spine and it's also improving light. Shift back, stay shifted, lower your forearms down onto the floor, shift your shoulders directly above your elbows, and then you can press your elbows down and apart without moving them, as if you would want to stretch the mat between your elbows. The neck is long, gaze of your eyes to the mat, and now awareness to the lower body, press the right foot, top of the right foot, down against the floor, slide the left leg back, extend the knee, keep the left knee extended, exhalation, leg lift. Inhalation, lower the leg, and with your exhalation, lift the leg again. Lower with your inhalation, continue four more times, leg lift. So core stabilization exercise that is also strengthening the hip extensors, namely the gluteal muscles, the hamstrings and adductor magnus that is also a hip extensor. One more leg lift and then keep the leg lifted, hold the position, let the breath flow. Lift the left side of your pelvis and rotate the pelvis over the right supporting thigh. Lower the right side of the pelvis, balance it out and then lift again, spiraling the pelvis over the right leg, lowering the left side once again, and spiraling up and around one more time, hold the position. So the top of the right foot is still pressing down, the left side of the pelvis is lifting up, the toes are reaching up, and now you're spiraling your left leg out and around as well. So by sense, kneecap towards the ceiling. From here, abdominals fully engaged, bend the left knee, draw the heel towards your sit bone. So we have the gluteal muscles, all of them working really strongly and are actively opening the front of the left hip. Extend the leg, spiral the left leg down, lower the pelvis, balance it with the floor, lower the left leg, toes to the floor, and then slide the knee back underneath the hip, shift your upper body back, lift your elbows, extend your arms. With your exhalation, the next one, roll forward, small wave, and then shift back. Long spine, exhalation, small wave, rolling forwards, shifting back two more times. So with the small way forward, you are releasing the previously strengthened spine extensors one more time. Rolling forwards, beautiful balancing exercise for the basic arabesque. Shift back, lower your forearms. Shift your shoulders directly above the elbows. Once again, slightly move your elbows apart without moving, so just stretching the mat and then press the top of your left foot against the floor. Slide the right leg back. Exhalation, leg lift right. Inhalation, lowering down. With your exhalation, lift. And once again, four more times in your own time and rhythm. So the top of the left foot is continuously pressing down. Abductors on that left side getting stronger. As I said before, hip extensors on the right also getting stronger and abdominals, especially when you're lifting the leg fairly high, you really want to engage your abdominals. Hold the position and now lift the right side of the pelvis and spiral the pelvis over the left thigh. And then slowly lowering the right side, balancing the pelvis and spiraling up. Of course, the thoracic spine also rotates a little bit. One more time, spiraling up and around with the pelvis and then the fully extended gestured legs. So you are spiraling the right leg out and around. Abdominal fully engaged, bend the right knee, draw the heel towards the sit bone, draw the pubic bone up towards the sternum, opening in front, strengthening outside and back of the hip. Extend the leg, actually the hips, both sides. Lengthen the leg up, spiral the thigh down, lower the pelvis, and then lower the leg. Bend the knee, 
Bring the knee back underneath the hip. Shift your upper body back. Lift and extend your elbows. Small wave rolling forwards. The balance, the release. Inhalation, shifting back. We do two more waves rolling forwards. Shifting back one more wave. The best, the nicest, the deepest, lifting the energy. And then shifting back. Take a seat on your heels. Roll up. Elongate your spine and take a seat on one side of the legs. One more time, establishing a tailor sit, this time with the right leg in front. Pelvis balanced, spine elongated. One of my favorite versions of mermaid. So reach out of your fingertips up from the top of your head. Inhalation to the right side bend. With your exhalation, lower your left arm, this time all the way down. Let it take the spine to the left. Lengthen the right side, let it recoil. Inhalation to the left, really slow, really long. And then lower the right arm. Let it take the upper body to the right. Elastic lengthening left and recoiling. So we have a very slow movement followed by a more rhythmical, dynamic movement, elastic lengthening, recoiling, last time to the left. Inhalation, slow and long. The domino movement, arm, shoulder, spine, elastic lengthening and recoiling. Exhale into round back. Give your body a sense of balance. Open with your inhalation. Interlace your fingers behind your back, exhale. And then inhale, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Let the breath flow, lifting up really high. Opening to the front of the chest, the front of the shoulders. And then soften into a balanced alignment. Undo the interlock of your fingers. I hope you feel fabulous and continue with your practice. Thank you very much.